A new entry has been added to the Rubicus. View it by visiting the Crystarium or selecting History at the title screen. The Rubicus. Is it in here? Where do I find... Nope. Options. I don't see anything about that in here. There's a map. That's about it. Alright, whatever. So, now my goal is going to be to try to find events in the area. So let's take a look at the, uh... No particular... Okay, the map of the area doesn't give me any indication of specific characters. So let's go to the menu. And we'll try playing as a different character. So the... Oh god, there's a lot of people to pick from. Let's try playing as seven. Wait, who is it? Nine. There we go. We'll try playing as nine. He's one of the characters we've played as before. So now if I pause the game... Is there any evidence of an event nearby? There's not. Okay. What about someone that I'm more likely to have a reason to play as? Let's see. The new characters, uh, Machina and Rem- Oh wait, do they have any indication on the screen of who might be currently having events going on? Not necessarily. Huh. So I'm supposed to find a character who can go through this gate if I want to activate this event. Is it perhaps Machina? We kind of saw him in there already. Big brother. I'm... I'm in class zero now. The legendary class zero. Makina. Uh, I was reporting to my brother. Not that I have any memories of what he was even like anyway. Your brother died during a successful mission. He was protecting the Dominion after all. But... It's weird. What is? According to the records, he wasn't part of the Capital Liberation Campaign. Huh? Then why... The authorities wouldn't tell me anything. He was on the battlefield? Without being deployed? That. Or he was on a top secret mission that they couldn't keep on record. He's your brother, Makina. I'm sure whatever he was doing, he did his best. I'd like to think that. But... Why would he be on the front lines? Brother... Why did you die? You're starting to fit right in here at Academia, Kupo. Take this little gift as a way, way, way of saying something something. I really wish that I could press X to proceed instead of it just autopiloting. Alright, so... That's one objective out of the way. Er... And that, that one was gold, so I think that one that means it was mandatory. So now it's about finding either other mandatory ones or more or some optional ones around. So we have to explore the area, find some more markings in the area, and then see if, if they uh, require specific people to proceed. I'm wondering, like he says that the uh, he's he's told that his brother fought being he died as a hero. Oh. You already met with your CEO. I guess that means you're officially one of us now. In that case, why, do, why don't I show you around a little bit? The great portal in the center connects to all sorts of places. The lounge, the ready room, the terrace, Chocobo Ranch, the armory, sorcery. Oh, that reminds me. The doctor told me that you uh, to let you know that she's waiting for you in her office. Be sure to warp over there later, okay? The door leads to the Dominion Central Command. The officers will provide you with all you need to know of your upcoming operations. Over here we have the Crystarium. Its walls are practically bursting with information. The jewel of the Crystarium's crown is the Rubicus, located right near the entrance. This is it's an incredible anthology of records, dossiers, and all sorts of, of advice. If you ever find yourself at a loss, I, I'd first try to consult the Rubicus. That's where one of our new entries was. Was that straight ahead? Yeah, it looks like it. it looks, I, I was worried for a second there that the four directions were all going to look the same, but it seems like... Left and right look the same, but I know that I know that I'm not, I know that the Rubicus isn't where I came from, so it must be straight ahead. And it sounds like someone wants to be see me at the doctor's office. Is this one of those mandatory missions right here? Classroom first and second. It has the uh, oh that they're everywhere. Never mind. There's the uh, yeah the uh, the bird icons are just kind of all over the place. Let's go check out the Rubicus because it said there was a new entry for me to check out.
Welcome to the Crystarium. Oh, who's that? Good day, cadet. Allow me to welcome you to the Crystarium. Rubrum's treasure trove of knowledge. Feel free to use this facility when studying for exams or when simply something simply piques your curiosity. Alright. Anything else? Nope. That's all he has got to say. Okay. Anything else in the area besides that floating book, obviously? There's a Koopo. Just hanging out. Koopa. I'm ninth class's Moog... I I'm class ninth's Moogle, Koopo. They're all pretty hopeless, but that's okay. All that matters is that they're happy and healthy. Koopo? I, so, is our class is like golf? Is Does having a high number mean you suck? And does, having, does being in class zero mean you're the best? Because... They were talking about the legendary class zero and a terrible class nine, so that'd be the, the first thing that comes to mind for me. Oh, wow, it literally says lore. Like, I understand that it's the it's where all the lore is going to be, but you, you don't expect the game to actually just explicitly say lore. Fulfill certain conditions to unlock various entries in the Rubicus. Can you unearth all of uh, Orient's secrets? Probably not, but, but I'll get some of them, and we'll check those out. Oh, God. So there's a new, So a new one was added in here somewhere. How do I know where? Okay, those don't seem... The Annals of Orients. How long is this list? Oh, n oh no. Oh, n okay. So we have some entries here. Battle begins three three hours later. Mekin and Rem. So these appear to be all the cutscenes we've seen before. What do these things up here say? Peace descended upon Orient. This, uh, this is 512 RG. Establishment of the Armory Guilds. Peace descended upon Orients with the ratification of the Pax Codex, but the document was unable to assuage tensions between the four crystal states. Sensing this serenity must be short-lived, Central Command and the Academia Administration worked together to establish the Armory Guilds for the purpose of strengthening their military. As the name would imply, the guild existed to develop new equipment for the Dominion Legions, and its first objective was to craft potions and other sanative supplies. Later, in year 533, part of the guild began working exclusively on developing accessories and other gear. The administration designed this branch as the second armory guild in order to distinguish it from the guild responsible for crafting supplies. The second armory's, armory guild's accessories amplified the user's magic faculties, and legions outfitted with the newly designed equipment set, saw a vast improvement in their firepower. Some time later, Central Command pushed for the creation of a third armory guild to design equipment for chocobos and a fourth to develop Dominion Dreadnoughts. After war broke out in 842, a fifth and sixth armory guild emerged to create and manufacture, and manufacture weapons and gear for the legionaries and the cadets, respectively. Then 330 year, 320 years later, Marshal Sid Alliston seizes control of the Empire. Oh, that's the guy who did the uh, horrible bomb that wiped people out. After seizing the reins of military power, Imperial Marshal Sid Alstein, Sid Alstein began secretly plotting a coup d'etat, uh, coup d'etat, uh, which I almost said coup de grace, just because I'm just used to saying that. Uh, which he have evidently, which he eventually executed on Tempestemens 15 in uh, 832 RG. The Militesi Empire had already established more than enough self-sustained bureaucratic faculties facilities to mass-produce Magitek armors, so the Emperor had very li little actual influence over the government or the military, and only a handful of soldiers were willing to fight for him. The coup d'etat ended without a single drop of blood spilled, and Sid Alstein became the new uh, Militus head of state. He incarcerated the Emperor, took control of the White Peristilium, and placed the White Tiger Crystal under his direct supervision. In a taking possession of the crystal, he also took control of the Lassie who obeyed its will. Thus, with the crystal and its Lassie under his thumb, Sid Alstein became the supreme ruler of the entire Militesi Empire. And this is going to keep going for a while, so we're, we'll have we'll have time to revisit this later. Oh dear lord. So, these ones are all still marked as new. Do the ones that I clicked on... Okay, cool. It's the exact thing I was always hoping would be in Dragon Age. When you click on something, it stops being marked as new. But then everything else stays marked as new. Because you haven't clicked on it yet. 
Dragon Age didn't have that. If you highlighted something, it immediately stopped. It, it was marked as red immediately, which is kind of a problem when you try and tell which ones you've read before and which ones you haven't. Because sometimes you just gotta scroll through the screen, and by the time something's on screen, it's often too late. So I think I'm probably just gonna leave. I don't think there's actually much for me to do around here. I'll do a, take a quick look around just for an exclamation point or question mark. But it looks like there's mostly just a bunch of dudes around, like that guy. Some people call class 9th the lucky class, but I don't believe it. I mean, if we're so lucky, then how come my grades are so terrible? Because you're garbage. I'm sorry, but all of your hopes and dreams are going to accomplish nothing. Enjoy your feeble existence. Let's go teleport to the doctor. They apparently want to see us, and I don't know if they want to see this character specifically, but that's who I'm playing as, so they can just deal with it. Uh, Chocobo Ranch. Terrace, lounge, ready room, armory. Uh-oh. I don't know which one had the doctor in it. They might have mentioned it and I might have forgotten. We'll just explore. The ready room. Oh, there's a, uh... We have a bar. I wonder if anything can happen around here. Are right, we gonna have a long subplot about one of the uh, party members' drinking problem? Koopo. Oh, hello there, Koopo. I'm the Moogle in charge of Class 12th. In a word, they're... special. Koopo. Are they, are they, are they like mentally special? Is that, is that where we, the, is that our euphemism here? Is all of class 12 in here? Are like, are they weirdly segregated by category around here? Weird. This, this looks like a bar, but then everywhere else in this room looks like a coffee shop. Like it looks like a coffee shop until you look at the bar, which just looks like a bar. But I don't know. It's Final Fantasy. It's all fictional anyway. It's fine. I hope this war ends soon. That was a weird thought to have when you looked at that at that bar. I don't know what spurred that. That was strange. Can I talk to the barkeep? There we go. Take a load off, kid. You cadets do more than enough to earn a little R and R. All right, I'm gonna leave now. I don't think I don't think there's much going on right here. So, what other floors do we have around here? Oh, it took me back to the entrance. Maybe if I talk to her, she'll remind me where where she wanted me to go. Well, this concludes our little tour. I'm sure you'll get used to this place in no time. Good luck, and don't keep Al Rashira waiting too long. Let's see. Do I have any sort of quest prompt? Not in any obvious location. All right, we'll just teleport to a different place. Oops. Try that again. Ah. <laughs> it defaults to no, and I don't know why, because it's just it's a portal. What 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 what, what am I what am I avoiding happening? The terrace is where I am right now. Okay. Uh, sorcery. Let's try sorcery. That's, that's probably where the doctor is. Well, this place seems important. Welcome to sorcery, where we conduct research and development of all kinds of spells. Technically, this place is off limits to all unauthorized personnel, but the doctor has given you kids special permission. Does that mean the doctor's? Oh, there she is. Hello. I'm busy now. Oh my! If it isn't my precious children's new classmate. Keep talking. <laughs> yes. No. Let's try. My darlings didn't make fools of themselves in the face of the crystal jammer like you two did. Why were they unaffected? Well, that's a that's absolutely none of your business. All you need to worry about is that making sure you don't hold them back. All you, all you need to worry about is making sure you don't hold them back with your mediocrity. In other words, they're special and you aren't. Get the picture, darling? Good. That's all. Hey, a high potion! Why... Why did I get a... Why did I get a potion? Also, we apparently moved time forward. What's the matter? Queen. Surely you've already been briefed in the particip on participating in the SO system, haven't you? I trust that you'll make the right decision in the matter. This was... Interesting. So she just straight up awful to me. Didn't she? I thought she. I assumed that she recruited me, but maybe that's not true because she seems to resent the fact that me and my sister. Is she my sister? I don't know. Myself and the other not not person people. Me and the other per person that's not named after her card. Uh, she seems to resent the fact that we're here. Grand Sorcerer, I've been charged with overseeing the top secret special orders, SO for short. The Doctor designed this program with you kids in mind, but I need your consent before you can participate. The price of failure of these confidential orders is death. So bear in mind, that said, 
So bear that in mind. That said, the doctor feels this sort of challenge will contribute to your growth as cadets. I mean, it'll contribute to the survivor's growth as cadets. Accepting these missions is highly risky undertaking, so the choice is yours. Review incoming special orders transmissions with the touchpad. After confirming their contents, you may choose to decline with no penalty. However, if an SO is accepted, the penalty for failure is death. Avoid death by dodging three of the portals that appear. Earn rewards by contemplating the completely special uh, tasks. SOs with red icons prov provide exceptional rewards. Avoid death by dodging three of the portals that appear. What? That's just a weird statement to hear in the middle of that. Uh, receive beneficial status effects by, by accepting SOs. Completion earns rewards, but the price of failure is death. Avoid death by dodging three of the portals that appear. What portals? That's like... Uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's just, to me, I read the text and all of it's like a really basic description of like, SOs give you benefits, but also, you, you're punished for not doing them correctly. Do you want to accept them? But then in the middle of the paragraph, it's like, Av avoid death by dodging three of the portals that appear. What? <laughs> There's like no context for that specific line. I'll allow them. It's a gameplay mechanic. That's the spirit. I knew, I knew class zero would be up for the challenge. The doctor and I expect great progress from you. Good luck. Alrighty then. I'm sure this will go great. We're gonna die horribly, aren't we? All right, let's let's warp back somewhere else. Sorry, I got inter I got interrupted uh, briefly by a sneezing fit. Ugh. Just moved, and I have, I have to collect things. Like I just got pills for uh, allergies, and because that season's really taking off right now. And so far, not impressed by uh, the, the, my friends were like, Wallatin, it's just as good as Claritin." And, and this is a knockoff brand. I'm like, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, let's try it. So far, not very effective. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to, I'm going to check out the main hall command area, area to see if that gives me an indication of where to go, or has another th another event for me to do to trigger the next mission. Because I, I need to trigger one more thing before we proceed. Oh, might happen around here. There's two. Oh, there's a question marks though. I need to find exclamation points. Well, at least we get to talk to more people and explore more. At ease, cadet. This is Central Command. Second Tactical Division. Feel free to consult any of us for information regarding your mission orders. Should a mission ever prove insurmountable, you would do well to consider reevaluating your approach. Sometimes the smallest adjustment can can produce the greatest effect and uh, on the outcome of the mission. Adjust the difficulty of from relic terminals around Orients. Cadet? cadet? No. Oh, yeah. That's just the difficulty we talked about before. It is funny to me that the, uh, I find it interesting that they even say here that, uh, Officer Intermediate is the standard difficulty level, but they're like, Oh yeah, if you haven't played, if you haven't played this before, play on Cadet, is what they say. They, they, they recommend playing on an easier than what they consider the standard mode. Kind of a bummer. Fulfill certain conditions to unlock an even greater challenge. Dear Lord, New Game Plus. If you ever feel overwhelmed by a formidable foe, do not hesitate to call Academia for backup. Why, you may you may even see your own your very own CO run to your aid once in a while. Activate backup settings to receive support from Academia and earn SPP. It's like support PowerPoints, I assume is what that means. Huh. Hello, info. Good work. Uh Tachinami. You must be from class zero. My name is Tachinami. I'll be providing you with remote assistance on large-scale operations. If you're already itching to get out there on the front lines, I can arrange to have you deployed as soon as possible. Speak with Tachinami to skip ahead to the mission day. Advancing time will cancel all incomplete events and requests. Mission. Mission level 12. In, it's uh, in the year 842. Cadet's first deployment. After the virtual annihilation of its forces and the inv Imperial invasion, Rubrum decides to conscript cadets into the military and send them to battle. The Dominion forms an elite unit of cadets who will recapture McTig. Located on the outskirts of Academia, uh, Central Command selects Class Zero to be part of this operation, mark their first appearance, uh, their first experiencing real combat. Is that really true? We just did a huge boss fight. I thought that that took place in the past, right? Like this is further forward in time. So I don't think I don't think we can call that this their first time. No, I'm not ready to march. I don't think I'll ever skip ahead. I think I'll always try to find enough events to pass the time so we can see what happens. At ease. It's a Tonberry down there. Kurasame or Kakashi. Uh, 
Should, you, should the Titan battle turn against you, call for backup immediately. I'll provide assistance if no other units are available. And down here's a little Tonberry. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? You can just kind of address it and then nothing. It just kind of hangs out being a terrifying little Tonberry. Tonberries are fucked up. You fight in, in any, every game that I've encountered them so far, they just show up at random, usually in a darker area, but they're always a rare spawn as far as I can tell. And basically, they take it. They have a ton of hit points normally, and they kind of just stand there for a while doing nothing. But then, when they finally attack, they just one-shot you, just out of nowhere. Like they're devastatingly powerful, if I remember correctly. Anyway, it's been a while since I played. Uh, Dominion Tribune. A good soldier always reflects on his performance of any operation. Even if you succeed, there's always room for improvement. Completed missions can be replayed at any time. Any character may participate in these replays, regardless of the data, lo data loaded. Items experience earned during replay missions are saved and applied to your current file. Missions cannot be replayed from a mid-mission save file. Oh. So that means you can essentially grind by replaying missions you've played in the past if you feel the need to. Hopefully I won't feel the need to. More info over here? As it were, I am the Tribune charged with overseeing the support personnel, Academia's Rescue Squad. I have taken the liberty of officially registering you as all members of the SP. Do not hesitate to enlist your comrades' help. The support personnel, SP, consists of cadets who provide backup for their comrades on missions. Requesting backup from the SP earns support personnel points and boosts your SP rank. Earn a higher SP rank to access exclusive spells and equipment. So basically there's a whole system where I can call on help, and the more I use the help system, uh, I, I actually unlock features. Uh, that They probably do that in our, and just to sort of incentivize you using this mechanic in the first place. If you earn enough SPP, you can exchange them here for items. We have quite an enticing selection, so I suggest you work hard and cooperate with your few cadet, fellow cadets in the field. Oh, so you have them. I don't earn them through experience or anything. You just have stuff that can help me, and you're just withholding it for no good reason, because you want to see us play nice together. It's like, until you guys play nice together, I'm not going to give you these life-saving techniques and spells that could help you save the world. <laughs> RPGs are weird. Earn support personnel points by re uh, requesting backup with the other cadets. Exchange SPP, SPP for all items at the SPP post in command in central command. At ease, cadet. Have you been earning SPP? No, because I just learned about it 30 seconds ago. What can I buy? Alright. So, I can buy a, a feathered cap that can be used by apparently everybody. Uh, an academia deck that can only be used... Oh. Cards that increase attack by 8. Okay. So you can get an attack boost for Ace specifically. So it looks like you have... Yeah, that's the entire party of people too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 14 characters. Oh, that's actually really nice quality headshots of them all too. So you can actually have more progress recognizing them all. There are a few more blonde characters than I like. Just because it gets a little harder to pick them out of the crowd. But they tried. I think the biggest problem is just the fact that it's a... Uh, it's, a, it's already a JRPG, so everyone has sort of generic anime face, but it's also made for the Vita originally, so their character designs are relatively simple. So like every now and then you're like, oh, that's the one with white hair. That's the girl with glasses. And then everyone else is like, I'm a guy with spiky hair. Good luck. <laughs> so I, I don't think I have any SPP. Yeah, so I can't buy any of these things. I'll probably want to prioritize this deck, because that seems like it'd be a good upgrade for Ace. And with these characters, I can upgrade nothing, right? I don't think I have anything to, to replace them with. No. Let's get out of here. Alright, so this was interesting to take a look at. Let's go searching for events again. Alright, I believe we checked out the ready room and sorcery, so let's take a look at the armory. I don't think we've been there yet. Still hunting for events, basically. More info and more question marks. No indication of events so far. At ease, cadet. This is Sixth Arms Lab, otherwise known as the Armory. We provide ourselves. We pride ourselves in being exclu the exclusive developer and distributor of arms in the Dominion. Should you ever find yourself in need of equipment, don't hesitate to ask. Is that the same character model? Uh, welcome, cadet. I'm here to offer you the finest weapons and accessories around. I'm telling you, you won't believe some of these deals. Seriously, they're unbelievable. 
Seriously, why am I buying stuff from the other? Why, are, does the military not support its own stuff? You have to buy things? That's weird. So there's a deck here. Cards that increase attack by five. Uh, I have money for it, I suppose. But how good is it compared to what I already have? I don't necessarily know. Can I look at their current weapons? You have nothing to sell, so I have to... Looks like I have to go all the way out of the character. Look at the weapons. Oh no. Squad? Wow, okay, so as far as I can tell, there's no way to look at the weapons. Oh, there we go, the, the reserves. So... How do I look at your... Your weapon? So I'd like to know how strong your weapon is. Because I can't see it from here. Really? This seems like a weird design choice. You can only play as one character at a time in town, and not a party of people. And you can buy stuff at the store, but you don't know... You don't know how good anyone's stuff is. I'm just, I'm just gonna assume that this is an upgrade from his starting weapon. And go ahead and buy Ace a new deck. And he'll get to equip that next time we play as him, I guess. Is that, I think that's all that's really going on around here, though. I could talk to, like, the fe fe the... The huge amount of NPCs around here, but that's about it. This guy seems to be dancing or working out, I guess. What's up? Eight. This is where the Dominion carries out all its research and development. No one wonder this place is quiet. So this is one of our, our crew members we haven't really met directly so far. My eye my eye was immediately drawn to him by the fact that he was basically dancing. Oh, this person's also a crew member. What's up? Sice. Or Cisse. Cinque? I don't know. Uh, so you're the w one of the two newbies. Great. I was really hoping for more dead weight to slow me down on missions. So these are nice people. They're so great. I'm gonna get along so swimmingly with them. Alright, let's check out a new zone, because this hasn't amounted to much so far. How about... We went to the ready room, so how about the lounge? Although when I went to the, re when I went to the ready room, it sure seemed like a lounge to me. Oh, nope, this is a lounge. It also looks like Gryffindor. So what's around here? Handful of people doing the exact same pose as each other? You gotta remember it was made for Vita, I mean for PSP originally. I think I said Vita earlier, which is incorrect. Is that nine? Oh, is that nine or King? So these are two crew members. Hey, how are you doing? Cater. Oh, that Kurosami gets on my nerves. I mean, come on, the Ice Reaper? As if I'm gonna listen to some big-headed jerk who gives himself stupid superhero nicknames. Jack. So there's a, that's the Joker, uh, rebellious, snarky character of the party for sure. I always knew Mother was the top of the Sorcerer Division, but I guess I never realized she was such a bigwig around our academia. I'm surprised that these are all people that are new that are all new here. They, uh, I don't know. It just, I guess that just wasn't set up in the intro very well because they immediately. Oh, she's just throwing guns around in the middle of town. That's concerning. <laughs> They seem like such badasses in the intro that it's weird to be that like, Now it's time for your first day in school, class! Is a weird sort of juxtaposition to have after that scene. What's through this? Nope, can't use this doorway. So I can't use those stairs. Yeah, I can't really do anything around here. So I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go to trigger another event. But I'm gonna keep looking. So does the terrace take us somewhere other than the starting zone, I guess? It looked like it was just taking me to the same place, but it wouldn't be an option otherwise, would it? So it's just a balcony that's directly above where I already was, which is why it looked like it was the same spot on the map. Anything around me? Not really. Oh, there's a there's a, an event. Seems like I'm always running into you guys. Hmm. We're in the same class at the same academy. Of course we see a lot of each other. Yeah, I know, but... Actually, I had no idea that Rem was even in the Dominion. If only I had known you were here, Machina. I would have tried to get in touch with you. I would have. I can't believe we kept missing each other for two months. You two actually knew each other before coming here? Rem and I? We're from the same village. We saw each other at a drill. I hadn't seen him for seven years. I knew it was you. You haven't changed. Look at you. I was surprised by how tall you'd gotten, Machina. 
When we were back in the village, you were shorter than I was. <sighs> yeah, like I said, you haven't changed. All right, I can dig this. It's sort of a Dragon Age thing going on where you have to, you, they incentivize you running around and triggering events between characters. Oh, I have a special message on my comm. Special message? Yes. It appears that the Moogle is calling us all to a meeting. Hmm. So let's go back to the classroom and ask the Moogle what it's about. Yes. And, uh, what's a comm again? Oh. It was the name of the communicator that was issued to us. Crystal Oriented Messaging Medium is what the letters in COM stand for, or so I'm told. A high potion. Again. We clearly have somewhere we're supposed to be going right now. Alright, yep, we gotta rush back to town. I mean, not <laughs> rush back to town. Rush back to our classroom. Let's get in there. It's mission day, class. Everyone's gonna die. This is the end for you. I'm gonna go ahead and stop by the save point on the way in. I'll see you guys in a bit. I gotta take a break. I was hoping to get more recording in for this game to, uh, over the next day. But, that, uh, once again, the demo for 15 took way longer than I thought it would. It's, it's over now, though, so now I get to focus on playing this game starting tomorrow, so... We'll, we'll get a backlog, we'll get a nice, we'll, we'll get a regular video schedule, hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys, like always. See you next time. Sounds like next episode's gonna be pretty exciting.